Hi everybody and welcome to Coffee with Conti. This is our Sunday Corvette vlog where it's all about this amazing car. The people that love it, the people that own it, and the people that want to buy it. And, oh, I'm sorry. You're like, hey man, what's up with the handcuffs? If you were on my social media yesterday, you saw this picture. <laughs> Just a small expression of self because I felt a little handcuffed today in what we could share with you guys. And in fact, oh, look at that. I learned a little trick in Vegas. How about that deal? <laughs> In fact, in respect to Chevrolet, uh, apparently we're under an embargo that I haven't seen yet that we're not allowed to share the video uh, inside the car, some of the track stuff, which is minimal anyways, with you until a certain date. So we'll respect that wishes today. But the last I checked, uh, the car was revealed to everyone in July. Um, we paid handsomely to have that car for you here in September. I flew to Atlanta in October to see the convertible. Uh, it's been all over many shows across the country, magazines have had it, YouTube videos, but the cars that we were testing on were captured test fleet cars and they're not 100% ready for retail. So again, honoring Chevrolet's wishes, we're not going to be able to share that video with you. And again, the stuff I was able to capture was minimal, which we're going to talk about today. But let me just say this first. Number one, I thank Chevrolet for the opportunity to go there and actually drive these cars. This was a big deal for me starting my 25th year representing Corvette. It was, um, it was very special, that's for sure. And let me just say this about Spring Mountain. Many of you who have been there know what I'm going to say is true. If you haven't been there, I hope that you go. Uh, you talk about uh, the Disney experience as a Corvette owner, fan, and enthusiast. Spring Mountain is that Disney experience. The ladies of the office, the people in the pro shop, the guys on the track, uh, so talented. They make you feel so safe and so well informed. Um, I certainly can't wait to go back to learn more and just have a great experience overall. So guys, it was great to see you again. Thank you for doing a fantastic job. I am thoroughly impressed. Speaking of which, you want to hear my feedback? I can sum up the whole vlog right now by telling you, yes, we have a fantastic car right now. The new car, I can say, wow, I'm impressed. I'm intrigued that I want to learn more about this car. But I can tell you this, that we have a bright future for Corvette. Now, a lot of people are asking me, hey, man, how fast did you go? You know what? For the short time, it was a very condensed session. Uh, and I didn't even film a lot there because by the time we got done with one session, I tried to give you a little feedback. Oh, we had to hurry and go here. Oh, they had to go here. And then it would rain. Man, it rained all day the second day. So I didn't even get the hot lap and some of the stuff that I personally wanted to get out of the car. But I got enough. So I wasn't worried about times. I was just trying to get a feel for the car because I know you guys rely on us as focused specialists of this brand to give you good feedback. And there's some stuff coming up in today's vlog, but I know off the top of my head I didn't share some stuff. Uh, I would look at the steering wheel and see those big paddles, and I can tell you this. I, th I thought at first they were weird driving with them. No, man, they feel great, they're perfect, and they're easy to use. The visibility out over the windshield and out the side windows, fantastic. Those mirrors, we talked about this when we saw the prototypes. I love those mirrors even better from inside the car. And we've talked about in this vlog before where you find Corvette logos in odd places. How about on the headlights, the outer perimeter? If you put them together, they make a Corvette logo. Now, isn't that cool? Another thing that was cool, I have a picture of it, but I can't share it with you guys. So what I did is I, I just pulled a picture that we've seen at the Corvette Museum. When we backed up and we were testing these sensors, there's four bands of these sensors. It was really cool. There was two cones there and they were staggered just a little bit. So nothing was showing in this band here, if you guys can see that, but the one cone would show, it was a little closer here with the, and these are all in color. This is in color, it's beautiful. And then this one showed a different distance, but backing up, you just felt so much more confident. The screen was really clear. I can't wait that we can share those pictures with you, but I just want to give you that feedback that there's some neat stuff on this car and a, and a whole lot more to talk about in this vlog. So in the spirit of our YouTube channel, let's have some fun, let's inform you, and let's hopefully entertain you as we talk about this new 2020 mid-engine Corvette. Let's get to Vegas. All right, you guys, we're pretty excited. We're on our way to Vegas, going to Spring Mountain to drive the CA 2020 mid-engine Corvette. I can't wait. I just can't wait to share for myself, for you, and for our audience, what we think of this new car. This guy didn't get any sleep last night. No. You think he's excited? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we got to get going, man. We're going to be late. Let's Come go. On, let's go. We got to get to the let's airport. Go. Okay. Oh, man. I forgot my gloves. That's all right. We'll get our connector. We'll be in Vegas. We'll be on the track. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, if there's one guy that's ready for a Corvette event in Las Vegas, it's this guy. Let's see the coat. 
Corvette coat, and then look at the luggage. Yeah, <laughs> Elvis Presley, baby. You are oh. a nut, aren't you? All right. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> this is the wrong movie. Uh, Chuck, guess what? Connectors canceled. Um, dude, you know what this is turning out to be like, don't you? Oh, yeah, it reminds me. Uh -huh. Planes, trains, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> Here we go. Trying to keep this bit going. Would you play along, please? You're supposed to say no. You don't have to be so agreeable. Oh. <laughs> you do know what movie we're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. I forgot. You know what scene's coming up next, right? Sure. <laughs> then you don't. <laughs> you don't know that. Alright guys, we finally made it to Las Vegas. We went from planes, trains, automobiles, back to planes. I'm tired, man. It was a it was a long flight. Plane had to be de-iced. Uh, a cramped flight. Oh my goodness, yeah. You had been two inches taller, you wouldn't even got into a seat, man. No. It, it was crazy. Alright, I don't gamble, but I told Chuck at least once or twice, maybe three times, I had to do a slot machine. Alright? I want to be that guy. This is, I was in Vegas and I never win anything. <laughs> I did that. Okay, here we go. Oh, and you won two credits. So for your dollar, now you have two dollars. I did? So yeah. now what do I do? Well, you can either cash out your dollar winnings. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't say you have never won anything. I never win anything. <laughs> I won a dollar. <laughs> Shut up. Now, if you've ever been in Chuck's Bay when he's working on cars, no matter the time of the year, there's always Christmas music playing. So, Chuck, you got to feel right at home right now. Exactly. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Well, you sat next to Miss Sneeze a lot. Yeah. I mean, she must have sneezed 20 times, and at another least. guy, and then the other two guys in front of us, blah, 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 blah. I mean, a four and a half hour flight at some point, could you shut up and go to sleep? You know, those guys talking, la, da, 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 da. It's like, dude, enough already. I'm so sore. I'm so tired. I'm glad that we're here, but you know what we got to do, Chuck? Yes, I do. We, we got a strut. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are we doing? We're going the wrong way. <laughs> Was so stupid. <laughs> hey Rick, where's your other hand? It's holding the camera. And the other hand is certainly not between two pillows. <laughs> Enough of the movie bit clips. Hey guys, we're in Vegas, man. And today we're gonna be driving the C8 2020 Corvette. But before we go to Spring Mountain, we might have an opportunity to meet a couple of you. Thanks for joining us for the vlog. We're having a blast already. <laughs> well, Chuck and I told you that we would be at Rise and Shine, a steak and egg place Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday morning. We're here. Are you here? You're here with us on the vlog. That's cool. I appreciate that. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, he's, he's, everyone. He's looking at me. He's like, how is this guy, when he turns a camera on, have so much energy? You have no <laughs> idea. Camera goes off. Rick is like, good, good, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go have some breakfast.
literally what... just sat down to eat, took my first bite of food, and look who's there. Man. Yeah, man. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, my going, gosh. Man. Dude, where'd you come in from? Uh, Apple Valley, about 190 miles. Oh, man. Yeah, traffic right. sucks. You got with him? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, oh, this is my son, Matt. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, to think that anybody at all came this far just to see he and I. Uh, hey, man. Wow, man. Very nice to meet you, man. And look at this, guys. He's got a Spring Mountain shirt on, oh, too. Oh, you're right, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll have mine later on today. Money. More people have showed up to see us. Why, I don't know. You guys are so cool. I love it. Jerry lives right up the street. Hey. hey all right. Fantastic. Thank you for coming to see us there, Dwayne. How, how are you? My wife, Terry. Oh, my gosh. It is so good to meet you guys in person. I love doing the vlogs. I love talking to you. But being able to shake your hand, which Jerry and I just did, and just have a conversation with you, which we're doing right now while we're eating. Look at that. That food looks good, doesn't it? Okay. We'll be back. Guys, that was good breakfast at Rise and Shine here in Las Vegas. Thank you guys for coming yeah. from California to meet us. That is so cool. <laughs> Tell you what, I just noticed too, John and I were in there talking. We're talking some baseball and stuff like that. And I looked over and I said, are those guys, the servers, are they wearing pajamas? <laughs> Zach goes, yeah, I read that online. Yeah, they walk around and it's Rise and Shine. Like everyone, okay. Okay, yeah. A little silly, but a very good place to eat. Uh, I had a great time uh, meeting Jerry and his wife. It was good to see you guys. Thanks for oh, your yeah. support. I great. really appreciate that. Great right. meeting you guys, it's been really good. Yeah, <laughs> off to the track. Here we go, man, here we go! guys we're here and let me tell you something I've been here a couple of times it's a great thrill it's a great honor to be here again and as soon as I pulled up to the gate we're not quite all the way in yet as soon as I pulled up to the gate my heart started beating faster I'm real excited about this you guys because the things that I learned here yes it's a great thrill it's a great experience for me but it helps me become a better salesperson it helps me advise you on how to handle your car based on what you're gonna do in your car whether it's just driving in the traffic or driving on the track. Welcome to Spring Mountain Motorsports and welcome to our vlog. Hope you guys heard that. I hope the heck you heard that. Uh, very limited right now with respect from Chevrolet as far as what we're allowed to share filming ourselves in the car. I'm a little bummed, I have to admit that because I wanted to, as a special moment, this is for me personally and for the car going forward to capture me driving inside the car. I just got off track the very first time I've ever driven the C8 2020 mid-engine Corvette and uh, I'm nervous. I was taking some of the apexes early, and so that'll affect what you do when you come out of that apex. Uh, I, I'm still learning, uh, trying to pay attention, and then the last session we did on the first runaround, uh, we were using the paddle shifts in track mode, and man, is that different. And when you turn that mode selector, you feel the adjustments everywhere. Stuff we talked about recently in the vlog, that stuff's gonna carry over even more so on the C8 Corvette as far as feeling the difference in the throttle progression, the steering feel, traction control, suspension if your car's equipped with magnetic ride control you guys come on Rick just give it to me man I'm impressed with the car guys and here's what's weird too uh, from driving and this is what I'm trying to learn so I can help you guys become better owners and drivers yourselves of this new car is because you could see so much better over the hood you have a tendency to do different things at the steering wheel that ordinarily you wouldn't do, which again, are gonna directly affect the results and how you're driving on track. So, still trying to take this all in right now. I feel extremely comfortable in the car. This car is designed for the driver. If you're a passenger that wants to go along for a very cool ride, sit there, be quiet, and hang on, baby, because, uh, yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is an incredible car. What an incredible experience to have the opportunity to be here, even doing this right now, even to be talking about it with you guys. We can look at the pictures, we can look at all the Chevy videos and look at all the data, but I'm, my butt's in the seat, man, and uh, uh, more to come. Now Chuck's out of the car for the first time. Dude, dude, wow. what do you what do you think, man? Oh my God, <laughs> holy crap. 
<laughs> you oh, never yeah. you never drove like that before, did you? Well, uh, no. no. <laughs> you're gonna learn something today, baby. Oh yeah. You're gonna learn that we got a continuing, growing value story with this all new Corvette. My goodness. Wasn't it weird driving with the paddles in the track mode? Nah, not it, really. No, yeah, I think it's kind of weird. It's all right. <laughs> All right, so Ron Fellows is here at the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. You know what he said he liked about the C8 car? He said he liked that it was such a streetable, enjoyable driving car in that manner. Not just a track car, he liked how it drove on the street. I think you guys are gonna enjoy that too. But they're cramming a lot in a short amount of time right now that I'm really enjoying. How about this? Here's a couple of little facts for you guys as we learn just a ton of information. All right, checking the oil on this car, you actually have to have it running and then bring it to temperature right around 175 degrees. That's a little different, huh? Okay, and keep in mind too that all Stingrays, not just Z51s, are gonna be dry sump systems. Now here's something else in regards to the DCT transmission. When you're on a hill or you're just at a traffic light, don't, don't do what you do now. The new car does not have a torque converter, so you can't take your foot off the gas and the car just kind of stay there. No, 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 what's gonna happen is, is the car's gonna automatically put itself into the parking brake. You're like, whoa, what's going on? But as soon as you hit the gas though, it's gonna take off and you're good to go. Guys are asking about burnouts and things like that, but they said, hey, really, truly break the car in properly. There's a, just like now, Okay, a 500 mile break in, and if you're gonna do any crazy burnouts, track driving, things like that, you're gonna to have to wait till you get to 1500 miles. Guys, we've got a ton of information. This might be a very long vlog that you're watching right now, but I, I, I don't wanna piecemeal this. I'm gonna share as much as I can right now. So thanks for taking the time to watch. Chuck, are you just having a blast or what, man? Oh, three words. It's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I mean, and I'm so nervous the first time I really, and, and not had, now tomorrow's gonna be good because I'm gonna get more intimate time inside the car, playing around with electronics, and that's the stuff I love to show you guys like we just did recently in the mode selector for the C7 car. Uh, it's a little bit different now too. So remember, uh, let me just bring it up now. Remember what I showed you in that video, that was our Tuesday quick tip, and we talked about how you could change the dashes and change this and change this. Now in the mode selector in the C8 car, when you turn it to sport, the dash will reciprocate and go into sport display. You don't have to go independently and you don't have to go to link to drive mode because there isn't a feature. They're all tied in together and there's a whole lot more to come in these electronics. This is gonna be a very complex car for you guys. It's gonna be important. <laughs> Somebody, did you hear that? Somebody went by a, their police cars in a Ford pickup truck <laughs> on the track. You gotta love it. But you guys are gonna rely on guys like myself to take this serious. I'm not about just selling a car. This is an experience, this is a dream, and this is a reward. And this is it for right now until our next segment. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. A lot more to come from the C8 dealer training, first in the world, first dealers to drive the new Corvette, the dream that's become reality right before our very eyes. This is, um, I'm going to have a lot more thoughts to share, trust me. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Thanks, you guys. All right, guys, I'm trying to share and capture anything and everything I can in real time while I'm here at Spring Mountain Motorsports for our C8 training. It's day two. I'm tired. Had a great conversation with the guys last night. Uh, it's raining today. And I was going to joke, we're going to learn about the weather mode. We're really going to learn about the weather mode in C7 versus C8. I'm gonna have some PDR footage to share with you guys in just a bit. This car, as, I, as I'm up on it and close looking at it, just come out of another classroom session that they're doing a great job in presenting this information to us that ultimately we're gonna be conveying to you guys that are interested in the car, that are buying the car, that one day will buy the car. The more I look at this car up close, and you know it if you've seen the C8 in person, man, is this a sculpted car. It's a beautiful car, it's elegant. <laughs> man. Guys, I did the weather mode in the C7 and the C8, and the differences are remarkable. The weather mode is fantastic in C7, it really is. If you've ever driven in it, you guys know what I'm talking about. But the difference now with the motor being the back of the C8, you have such better flexibility and control in the steering, the car handles better, and of course we're driving a Z51, and you heard at the reveal back in July, Tatch talked about how these tires are re-engineered, so I'm not getting that chippity chop, the tire skip, I'm not getting any of that. I felt planted, I felt like I had better control, and I actually lost control of the C7, partly because I was driving too fast around one of the corners, but 
This is all about the C8 and where we're going in the future of Corvette. Um, very, very impressed with just the handling of the car. You know what's weird too is that shifter. I th I've been to the car three times I think now, and I'm you know worried that you don't have that physical shifter. It's I mean, what do you get in this car? It's like a fighter jet. It's like a spaceship. It's a lot to take in. I'm taking it in in real time, sharing it with you guys. But that shifter at first I was very uncomfortable with it. It was kind of weird. Uh, but just a few times right now, we've got more times that we're gonna be driving the car, lifting that lever, pushing those buttons. It feels fantastic. It feels very intuitive as Tad just talked about before. You guys, you guys, you want to hear from me. What, am I going to like this car? You guys are going to freaking love it. More to come, it really is. As we come out of these breakout sessions, I just want to grab the camera and, and respect the embargo that we're under right now to talk to you guys about what's going on. And pretty soon here, uh, I think what they're doing right now, they're doing a little bit of, they're going to teach us the uh, uh, disengaging the clutch and the DCT, and then we're also going to learn how the front lift works in a pre-programmed location and also for us to do it manually. So for those of you that are on the fence and you're not quite decided, um, you got my seal of approval uh, starting my 25th year representing Corvette. I've never minced any words. I've never misled you guys. We have a great car, great value, great deals right now on the 2019s. And as a car, if you've never had or you're looking to upgrade, you'll be so proud to have that car. It's a beautiful car. The C8 car is is so far ahead now. Um, I can't even. I'm sorry. I, can, I apologize. I should be by now. I should be a little bit better at this YouTube thing. Hard to put it into words, but maybe that gives you some indication of how breathtaking this car is. Man, this is great. I'm very proud to be a Corvette representative and and I'm also a fan, okay? I'm an enthusiast, so I can't wait to get one myself too. I really can't. Um, I work a ton of hours. It is not a practical car for me, but I'm going to find a way to make that happen. <laughs> I got to, man. This was... Uh, this is really uplifting for me. Thanks again for joining us on the vlog. And before we go, let me share another clip with you from the track, from the event, that you never thought that you would see on this channel. Wrapping it up here from Spring Mountain Motorsports. Hang on a second. You guys never, ever <laughs> thought you would see the Chevy dude on my freaking channel, man. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Let me tell you something. Uh, I want to, I'm glad he came over here. We had a chance to hang out for a couple of days, and this is Matt Beaver. You guys know him from Street Speed 717. Yep. Matt's a great guy, good guy in the business. Who's street Speed. And, and, uh, <laughs> never heard of him. Never heard of him. Here, here comes the shots, you guys. Here they come. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I'm going to be the first one to have my car. Now that we know that Chevy's really watching us, <laughs> yeah. your car's going to be baited, yeah, brother. Baited. You won't have it for two months. Yeah, deleted. <laughs> Order deleted. We'll never have it. 6,000 yeah. status, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Out of service. Yeah. So here, here's the deal, Matt. We're not competitors. We're supporters of this brand, and we really gelled and learned that here this couple of days in Spring Mountain. And we're supporters of you guys, the customer. We shared a lot of great stories, and I think that's important to Absolutely. just talk about. Yeah, it's it, fun. It's, it's, yeah. it's all about the customer. It's all, you know, you know, everybody on the outside, I think, car dealerships, because you as a consumer can go to dealership to dealership to dealership to get the best deal. Um, but at the inside, on the on the backside, when we're talking amongst each other, we're, we're all about the brand we're all about the right. Corvette the and we want to make sure the Corvette customer is taken care of and that's the it's number about the one experience thing, guys right? it's about the experience and, that's, really and that's and that's what that was yeah. great to come here and meet people and and just to hear what they're all about and the word transparency came up so many times yeah, which is right. great yeah, you know absolutely Dude, you guys have been awesome these guys have been awesome we hang hang out at the uh, at the back of the uh, uh, the country club for I think three hours the first night <laughs> yeah just BS and water and soda and, yeah you guys did I didn't drink anything I was just having a good time and it was it was really cool and broke down a lot of barriers that you may have thought that were there 100% or not so it's all about the experience he's got his own gig he's doing his thing I'm doing my thing Matt's doing his thing and we're all focused on doing what we can to make it easy for you guys That's the customer. you yep, guys support absolutely. us in many different avenues on social media YouTube and stuff we really do appreciate that so all together I want you to see us together and just yeah. go what the <laughs> heck is going on man I don't know hey wait a minute let's make one of those one more shot for Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're easy material. <laughs> Let's all make one of those dopey faces for the thumbnail. Here we go.
<laughs> Is that how you do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. That was awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support of these guys. And thank you again for the staff at Spring Mountain. And thank you for Chevrolet for making this happen for us. Jumping back in with another clip. I'm sorry, this vlog has just been a mishmash of different clips from different times of our day in our training session, you know, discovering the CA 2020 Corvette. I'm with Chuck, our Corvette technician, and just want to jump in here in this segment. And again, in the future vlogs, we're going to slow it down, dissect it, have more specific conversations about certain things on the new Corvette that you guys want to know about. I'll tell you this right now, my initial time that I sat in the car at our dealership, and then the times that I've been in the car here at Spring Mountain, I love it, man. We, uh, I think you did too. I think most of the yeah. seats there were GT2 seats mm -hmm. uh, that we sat in. Man, and unlike I've talked about the seats before, how they're contoured and you sit down in the seats and they just wrap you. That GT2 seat emulates a little bit of our C7 competition seat, which I love so very much. Uh, I really enjoy it. The car is so comfortable and I've talked about it in previous clips too. Uh, it is, uh, it is, a, is a cockpit. Uh, fighter jet spaceship feel man it's crazy so you heard enough from me on the vlog I, I, I want to get some reaction from Chuck we've been so we're so tired we've been traveling bouncing all over the place we have a three and a half hour delay because we couldn't take 10 minutes to go to the other end of the Detroit Airport and catch the flight what, what a pain in the ass right now but dude, dude. first time I've been there three times what's the what, first time you oh. ever been there man bucket list check it off it is a bucket list item you guys he's right it is a bucket list item there's no doubt absolutely about it. yeah yeah i like yeah. to take the wife back now, i mean you work on the cars and i mean you're not really driving them so this is really i think your first not like that driving yeah. experience of the car man yeah so what do you think of the c8 how did that steering wheel feel to you man i loved it it yeah. didn't uh, no obstruction top or bottom the, the bottom gave me leg room I, I like the car overall yeah. you guys may look at the picture of the steering wheel but wait till you get behind the wheel and you're hanging on to it it feels a little weird because it's different mm -hmm. uh, but it feels right and it really does and you've got you've got two positions that you can be very comfortable in you can be at at nine and three or you can be at ten and two and it works man it really does work absolutely well when I get my car my goal is is to take uh, at least my one son Ryan with me <clears throat> sorry I'm, I'm tired and uh, that way it won't cost me as much because <laughs> I can go on the ownership thing and, and they haven't officially announced that yet. I know a lot of you guys have made some comments on our social media. Hey, are they going to offer a discount package as they have in the past when you buy a new C8? We certainly anticipate that. They're planning to do that. Just officially haven't announced it yet. So we don't know if there's going to be a change in the program. So when they do announce it, we'll share that information with you guys. So this whole vlog, I hope you've enjoyed just a little bit of our feedback trying to share the emotion in real time. Like I said, we'll we'll collect our thoughts and do a more organized vlog and more specific on specific items. But I did get a lot out of this, I really did. Oh, absolutely, um, yeah. Uh, I was looking forward to just getting behind the wheel, hitting the gas. That's the other thing I wanna say real quick. I forgot about that. Everybody's waiting. Well, I wanna to talk to you about the 2022 Z06. Why? Let me tell you something, guys. This DCT transmission is wonderful. It is immediate. It's unlike anything I've ever felt. The paddles are very long and very big. So if you are a manual transmission driver, what, and it's a, it's a mental thing to, yeah. to do that. But once you get used to doing that, okay, that's cool. But let me tell you something, this car, and I talked about this in a previous clip already on this vlog, if you watched the whole thing in its entirety, and most of you do, I appreciate that. I'm just so surprised at how fast it hooks up and how fast this car is. I mean, why in the heck do you need any more? <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> this thing is crazy. Um, it's a lot to take in for you guys as a new customer. I'm looking forward to educating you on the car. I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Okay, hey, we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, so somebody take that camera out of his hand and just stop talking. I love communicating with you guys and I love that you care about the things that we're involved in. I didn't mean to interrupt your poker game on your yeah, phone. <laughs> That's what he's getting, yeah, and I'm chewing gum, I apologize. <laughs> The one thing that he did not get a chance to experience and all of us there at the dealer academy, as they called it, is we didn't get to do or ride in. We didn't get to do it. Uh, we didn't get to ride in with the professional drivers in the hot lap. The weather was definitely an issue. Rick Malone made the call. I'm glad he did. I think it was the right thing to do. We were disappointed, but I was already nervous enough myself being out there in the rain. I couldn't even imagine driving with them at the level that they are in the rain. And I think 
Rick felt the same way I did. I don't want to be the guy who crashes one of these C8 <laughs> vintage cars. Not, uh, not on my watch, baby. Nope. All right, so we didn't have, we would have had that PDR to share with you guys. So sorry about that. But uh, there's always next time. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, and the modern family. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. When you're with the Flintstones, have a yabba dabba do time, a yabba do time, you'll have a